Ten Days Wonder 1971 Anthony Perkins a young sculptor with a weird pawn for waking up in strange hotels with his memory wiped clean and bloodied hands invite a former professor to the gates by like provincial men presided over by his powerful tycoon father Welcome by Wells young wife Piccoli soon finds a nest of rats beneath the booze was a voluptuous nest a clan bound in a circle of illicit romance blackmail fake burglaries and of course murder Channel Viajo celebrity presents 10 movies like 10 days wonder Number 10 Magnet 1987 In the year 1900 the German emperor Wilhelm was invited for a bison hunt in the hunting lodge an estate of a wealthy industrialist and businessman prince hans in german controlled silesia the emperor satisfied with the diplomatic services of the prince for the country and charmed by his young wife daisy offer him a profitable position The prince is obliged to choose either become the great huntsman of the crown and receive additional land for building new factories, coal mines and manufacturing plants or become an ambassador of the German Empire in London. Although under the constant pressure of his wife to choose the position of an ambassador, Hans Heinrich decided to choose the position of the great huntsman of the empire. Later distressed princess Daisy turns to the emperor for help in order to escape from her tyrannical, cynical and obsessed husband. Upon the kaiser's refusal she become involved in a scandalous affair that would later have devastating consequences on the Wontes family and her marriage. The prince eventually divorced Daisy in the 1920s. Number 9. Charles Eyes 1989. After the death of a friend of his, a young musician Chris moves into the Dis's apartment to compose a song in his memory. He later meets a charming woman Eva who has a dual relationship with her senator husband and her stepson. Having become her lover, the musician is instigated to kill the two intruders of whom she is allegedly a victim. Although unconvinced, he decided to indulge her, but finally discovered that it was she who killed the two, trying to put the blame on him, and that she is also responsible for the death of his friend, who had refused to follow her in the criminal project. Does the postman always ring twice or three or ten? From the James Cain novel onward, the stereotype of the homicidal woman as an intermediary lover has multiplied often in consumer novels and films, sometimes in the same trial reality. In yet another landing, Bruno Gaburo attempts few variations, especially environmental and decorative ones. While the story does not know any psychological development worthy of the name and appear more asserted than demonstrated. Number 8 My Steps and My Lover 1997 A kind nurse finds herself embroiled in a tense and potentially deadly family affair when she falls for the son of her ruthless new husband There are elements to this film that are eye candy while being such a gorgeous environment nice house cozy cabin above a lake horses and handsome steps and After a whirlwind romance, a nurse ends up marrying a tycoon businessman. When her husband goes away on a business trip, she becomes lonely and bored. She falls for her stepson, who is just a rough diamond and independent from his father. Things go wrong. I thought this film had a touch of 90s that was an awesome decade and a good story with a twist. It's pleasant to watch on a rainy evening. Lead actress of the movie is Rachel Ward. Rachel Ward was born on September 12, 1957 in Cornwall. She is an actress and director known for The Thornbirds, Against All Odds and Sarkis Machine. She has been married to Brian Brown. Movie is directed by Mary Lambert. Mary Lambert was born in Arkansas. She is known for her work on Pet Cemetery, Madonna Like a Prayer and The In Crowd. 
She has been married to Jeremy Gary. Number 7. Oz Des Classificados 1972. Bato is a young man who leads a quiet life, hoping to inherit the fortune of his millionaire father Oswaldo. When he gets a new beautiful young stepmother Clara, he falls in love with her. His incestuous love for her will cause the consequences. An assault by the troubled young man which will result in tragedy. When his father travels for business, the two are alone and go out in the night for fun. On the way back, he plays a typical passionate game. They seem to be involved in each other. They end up enjoying the sleeping together. But she, however, has a lover, Oscar, manager of the bank, where the family has a large account. He suffers from the relationship between his stepmother and Oscar. And he plans a childish revenge stance by proposing to a group of bandit friends an assault to demoralize the adversary. An underrated film that deserves more attention from the critics. This film is absolutely fascinating in the way that it analyzes the intricate psychology of the characters. Especially the young playboy who falls in love with his stepmother. Number 6. Pure Blood 2001 A young police rookie in South Africa stands up against a band of pro apartheid vampires in need of his racially pure blood. As a South African film buff, I am glad to see that a South African director has finally decided to make a film that deviates from the usual South African fare of either didactic, political diatribes or awful slapstick comedies. Ken Kaplan has crafted a surprisingly inventive little film that combines elements of vampire lore, black comedy and political allegory. This may sound a strange mix, but it's at least a departure from routine generic films. The film has its failing, but I admire the film because it is both unique and uniquely South African. It took Kaplan around 13 years to finally finance and complete Pure Blood, but the tragedy is that despite its entertainment value and the fact that it is actually about something. This film will probably never be released. This is due to the reluctance of local distributor to distribute South African film and the fact that it is non-genre. Needless to say, the South African film industry needs a major restructuring to ensure that a film such as this can be seen by the public rather than those terrible candid camera films regularly foisted onto South African screens. Number 5. The Long Shadow 1992 The story of a young man, Romandy, a famous stage actor who is notified of the death of his father, Raphael, an archaeologist whom he has never seen. In Israel, where his father is buried, he met with his father's young widow, Catherine, and her lover, John, a movie director who need the son to play his father in a missing scene about his father. But the physical similarities are too much for the young widow and she soon finds herself falling in love with her stepson. Michael York stars as the son of an actor. The father has died and York takes over the role in his father's last unfinished film. Liu Ullman plays York's father's old lover and she falls for the transform York. Strange, yes a little. But the film is so subtle that it hardly makes any point with these plot lines. I had to watch the film twice just to understand what it was all about. Perhaps that was the idea, although I didn't think it was really intentional. Once again, I blame the script. York is good in his part and Ullman is solid in a role that seems difficult for anyone to grasp. There are also some very slow moving portions which slow any plot progression down to a halt. What little plot there is never come to satisfying conclusion anyhow some of the dialogue make no sense. Number 4. Wicked Minds 2003 A Howard graduate finds his life falling to pieces after embarking on a torrid affair with his new stepmother. 
but everyone seemed to have something to hide and the motivation for murder is universal in this twisting thriller from director Jason Hanno. It's been a long time since Holden has paid a visit to his estranged father and upon graduating from Harvard, Holden decided to put the past on ice and check up on his well-to-do dad. Stunned to learn that his father's new bride Lena is half his father's age. Holden soon begins to suspect that something is amiss in the couple's lavish household. Holden's suspicions are confirmed when he is seduced by the irresistible Lana and when he threatened to blow the lid off of their affair the discovery of his father's lifeless body point to foul play. But who could it be that is behind the murder? A scheming femme fatale or jealous son? This TV film was great. It had a lot of romance, mystery and the story kept me guessing right to the very end. Number 3. The Cry of Desire 1977 A nurse who married a wealthy industrialist feels very attracted to the son of her husband with whom she will maintain a love relationship. Franco is a young nurse married to Christian, a wealthy industrialist, disabled from war and important feels very attracted to Raul, husband's son from his first marriage. Her unsatisfied desire find a way out in the arms of Raul. They maintain a relationship and view hot carnal relations despite the sickly jealousy of a domestic informer, but love Hernand who languishes from passion for her. This is a modern version of Hydra's. In the film, Thessy becomes an old paralytic husband and Phaedra a beautiful and mature woman. The old man's son at first in love with a young girl will fall into the erotic net set by his stepmother. Number 2. Inran Kazo ki Gibo no Sinshitu 1991 Inran Kazo ko Gibo no Sinshitu is a drama movie from 1991 directed by Minoru Inao. This film was produced by Shintoho, known for having made and distributed lots of Pinku Aiga movies many years. Wataru, a young nerdy like man who also narrated the film story. He uses some of his time to peep into parents having love, as well as his sister, and is often seen reading a some love magazines. Made in Japan in 1991, directed by Minoru Inao. The main roles were played by Asako Mochidiku and others. The duration of the film is 54 minutes. Lead actress of the film is Mayomi Inu. Mayomi Inu was born in Japan. She is an actress known for Ushina Wareta Nyotai, Kageki Onani, and Onna no Sei Kantai. Number 1. Giselle 1980 After a long period studying in Europe, Giselle returned to Brazil and spent the days in the farm of her father Lucini. When her stepmother and aunt Heidi unexpectedly sees Giselle making love with the foreman Angelo in a waterfall, Heidi shuts Giselle up and they have love. When Heidi's son Sergino arrives in the farm from Rio de Janeiro, he goes to the town to buy a cigarette and they have a fight in the bar with three strangers. When Sergino and Angelo return to the farm, they have love and Giselle join them. Along the days and the nights, Giselle, Angelo, Heidi, Sergino and the doctor Anna has all sort of kinky love while their family decays. Giselle is a bold and palamak movie about the physical and moral decadence of a family with the most different combination of kinky love. In 1980, this movie was a sort of relief value in times of military dictatorship in Brazil showing the disintegration of the institution family. In accordance with the information of Carlo Mossi in the DVD, more than 14 million viewers watched this film in the movie theater and it is the top box office of Brazilian movie ever.